It is a beautiful place of faith and tradition and um, reverence for the mass and the sacraments. It's probably the most beautiful church north of Boston. You walk in here and you can just see like the beauty of heaven from being in this church. And you totally feel like you're in the presence of God because you just can see the beauty and reverence that this place holds. Most beautiful things about the church are the stained glass windows. You know, they're incredible. Um, and uh, I, I always say, if you didn't prepare a homily, you have plenty of things you could talk about because the <laughs> windows are so beautiful. You can point out any window and just preach on one of the windows. They're so beautiful. The musical personality of St. Mary's is really something special. Um, it's it's one of one of the great elements of a of a church that has a lot of beautiful and wonderful elements. Everything kind of comes together to make uh, a really just true and good and beautiful prayer to God. Uh, it's 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 amazing and humbling uh, to be able to to walk out and celebrate Mass. We love the Mass here. We had been searching for that and we were happy to find it. And so it was one of those instances that our hearts were restless until they rest in you. We found that here and the choir added so much to the reverence of the mass that took place here. I love to hear the Angelus bells ringing from St. Mary's twice a day. They remind me of the Incarnation um, and that Jesus is still with us even 2,000 years later. St. Mary's Church is such a beacon itself on Cabot Street. And when people pass by, what I love the most is the statue of the Blessed Mother in the garden. I think it's a real beacon of hope for everyone who sees it there. I keep coming back to St. Mary's for the friendships. I found myself suddenly part of a community and I, in this other spiritual lives I'd lived, uh, it was all about me, myself, and I, and suddenly I was, I was part of a community, and that was very important. We're also lucky enough um, to uh, be at a place where there are many other Catholic teenagers that we're able to be with, and that's a really, really helpful thing, because um, being in a secular society, um, it's really, really nice to have other people that you can talk to. The foundation that has been built in all three of those parishes, whether it's St. Mary, St. John's, or St. Margaret, uh, is very strong. And I think that gives me a lot of hope for the church, a lot of hope for Catholicism in Beverly. Um, the, the roots are there and they're deep. I think there is uh, a lot of reason to hope in Beverly between the three parishes and the school. Every parish has different uh, assets and people are starting to realize the benefit of that. Um, and it's starting to grow together. I think that's a large part of the church in Beverly moving forward. Um, to have three parishes, but one collaborative where everybody belongs together. It's a very, very special place. And what makes it special is you. It's you. It's the people of St. Mary's that makes St. Mary's so special. It's yes, the building is beautiful, but the building is only a building. It's the people who have the church. Faith is still alive in people. You know, it's easy to look at the negative things and to see where there are challenges to faith. But I think we ought to, from time to time, look at the positive things. People want to be at Mass. They want to be receiving the sacraments. That's a tremendous reassurance uh, that the life of faith continues, even under the challenges. I think St. Mary's as a parish is very proud of its presence here and its history. It's, People here at St. Mary's are very, very proud of that received tradition and that narrative. And uh, uh, so on the one hand, we want to respect that narrative and hold on to it and, and celebrate it, but also press forward and say, what's, what, what's our responsibility to grow the faith here in the city of Beverly for the next generation of believers?